What's going on everybody? I had to do a follow-up video on this Milad bike, the DK300 Max, because there's two things I gotta tell you about. The first is they dropped the price like crazy low. And when I did the review video on this Milad bike, it was priced at I think $21.99 and there was a discount code. You could get it for like $19.99. They dropped it down to $15.99, which is like the price of your regular run-of-the-mill average fat tire bike. And this is dual motors, dual 750 watt motors, dual batteries with 40 amp hours of battery pack, dual suspension, four piston brakes. I mean, I get maybe the look might not be in the style, the moped style might not be everyone's cup of tea, but if you like the moped style e-bike, this is definitely one to, to check out and add to your list. For 1600 bucks, I can't believe they dropped it that low. That's, that's pretty crazy. So check it out if you're interested. It's cool looking. I just like the look, I like the headlight, the tires, the CST Scouts, I've never had those before. They're nice. It's just a cool like Batman, Batmobile looking thing. <laughs> but I like the way it rides, I don't know. But that's the first thing I wanna tell you, they dropped the price just insanely low. And the second is, I wanna show you the range. I have not done a range test yet. I am at the beginning of it right now. I'm only like two miles in. And with 40 amp hours of battery pack on this bike, how far does it really go? They give you some crazy numbers on the website, like 175 miles or something crazy like that. And then it says, the the electric only mode electric only no pedaling you should go 75 miles i don't think it's going to do that I, my guess is like maybe 50 55 maybe i'm some, i'm thinking somewhere in there i'm going to put this in all wheel drive and no pedaling throttle only as fast as it'll go i'm going to burn through the batteries as fast as i can see how far it goes let's go all right i got my gps app running so i can verify the mileage that we go the, uh, the GPS and the bike's display are right on the money with each other in terms of speed. They match pretty perfectly. So I know this one's gonna be a lot easier for you to see probably. Let's do a zero to 20 mile an hour. Actually, we'll do zero to 20 and 30 all in the same run right here. Get an idea for the speed off the line and you can compare to your bike. You ready? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Twenty. Thirty. Let's see what it does top speed wise. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. This is flat too on the flat ground. We got ninety percent battery. So level ground you're getting, you know, thirty-two-ish miles an hour. It's got good power. There's thirty-three. 34, it's finding more power somewhere. <laughs> 34.5 on the bike display. It cruises right along, man. It's got good power, real good power. But this is how we're gonna ride. I'm gonna try to find spots where I can just run it up to 30 mile an hour and just burn through battery as quick as possible. We are 5.7 miles into this test. I'm sitting at 89% battery. Cruise control, automatic cruise, stable, don't need hands to ride it. No traffic behind me, so we're good to go. Now we got a long downhill. We really see what it's capable of. I mean, motors can only spin so fast. 35. 36. Blake says 36.4. So there you go. No restriction on the motors, like 36 top speed. All right, time to get comfy. Gonna be, I'm gonna try to stay out here on these roads and just melt through battery like this. So I'll check in when we get down closer to uh, something happening. I mean, we're down to 78 already, 78%, and we've gone 7.3 miles. My guess at 50 may be high. <laughs> now I am gonna stay mostly on the streets, but I need to cut through this power line to get over to the next neighborhood. That's the beauty of uh, being on an e-bike. You learn all the little 
cut throughs and ways around town that aren't on the streets, right? Screws up this, it'll take me over to the next neighborhood I need to be in and not have to go on a 45, 55 mile an hour road. All right, back on the streets, we're at 73% battery, 8.8 .8 miles. We are officially 10 miles into this range test. I'm at 73% battery. So that does not bode well for the 75 mile electric only range that they claim. <laughs> I think my guess at 50 will be closer. We may end up in being like even closer to 40 because we've gone through a quarter of the battery and we've got 10 miles. So, all right, we're down to about 50% battery. I'm at 18 and a half miles. Let's do a zero to 20. Three, two, one, and go. And we got 20. 25. 30. Still got pretty good power, man. Still really good power. Now, what I've noticed, though, after going through half of this battery is that when you are laying on the throttle full blast going 30 miles an hour both motors really working you are devouring battery pack it goes down so fast you can drop 10 percent battery in two miles if you're traveling at 30 plus speeds and the motors are under stress going up like a little bit of an uphill or something it just it's just consuming battery at a fantastic rate and then I backed it off <clears throat> and I rode maybe like 20 mile an hour, 20 to 25 mile an hour. And I was able to get like, you know, four or five miles with like no battery change. It, it's very good. It's good on gas <laughs> if you're not hot dogging it, basically. So, I mean, you can see on my display, my GPS here, I've been averaging 18 miles an hour. So I've been going pretty quick here. 18 miles an hour for the last hour. I'm at 18.9 miles. If you're gonna just lay on the throttle 30 plus miles an hour, endlessly, you might get like 30 miles out of these battery packs. If you're gonna ride 20 mile an hour, you might get like 50 miles. I think I'm gonna end up somewhere in the middle, but I'm gonna try, like I said, I'm gonna try to kill them kind of as fast as I can. I'm at 51% right now, and this is a long uphill. I'm just gonna lay on this uphill full blast See how much battery we kill. We were holding 27 miles an hour so far. It's now it's getting really a lot steeper now. Taking us down to 24 mile an hour. And it's just crazy the battery pack I can see the bar going down <laughs> it's, it is dying so fast wow I mean we've gone about a mile well yeah we're approaching like a mile of uphill there 19.7 miles now and I'm gonna stop right up here okay so that was about a solid almost a mile of uphill these motors under full stress and I was I started the hill at 51. It's reading 42 percent. I killed almost 10 percent of a battery going on a mile uphill. That's what I'm saying. If you're really using this throttle heavy, these bad it's the batteries are just going down so quick. All right, let's see how much power it's lost. Down to 25 percent battery. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Still takes off pretty good. A single motor bike will climb this at 22 to 25 seconds. This is gonna beat that. That's still really good and time. Impressive. 
All right, we are down to just 10% battery remaining. A little indicator turned red after like when it got under 20%, but we've lost a significant amount of power. When it hit about 14%, it, the fall off was pretty dramatic. So here's full throttle from the start. Pretty slow now. We're getting to the point now where it's still got usable power, but not crazy usable. I mean, the top speed is maybe just over 20. I'm kind of going downhill and we're struggling to get to 20. So yeah, big fall off in power. We're at 10%. All right, I turned around, I'm heading for home. I'm gonna use the last 10% to get myself home. That's probably about what it's gonna take to get home. I do not wanna have to pedal this bike. <laughs> this bike weighs 116 pounds. I don't wanna have to pedal at home. So at this point, at 10% battery, you better be on your, getting to your neighborhood, right? Because you don't got much power left in the throttle. I've got 41.7 miles and I've been averaging 19 miles an hour. It's been two hours and nine minutes. Let's just go over here and talk about it for a sec. All right, we'll just stop here in this field. Okay, still showing 10% battery. I'm gonna pause this right here. Two hours and 10 minutes, 41.9 miles. The bike says 42.4. Let's just call it 42 miles. Max speed was 37. I averaged 19 miles an hour. That gives you an indication of how fast I was booking it on this thing. I averaged 19 miles an hour for two hours straight. I know you're thinking, well, 40 hours, 40 amp hours of battery pack. You should have gone way, way further than that. You got 42 miles? I mean, they claim 75 on the website. I was guessing like 50, but look how I did it though. I just rode, I just, you know, beat the tar out of this bike. Full blast, full throttle for two hours straight. Is that how you're gonna ride? If that's how you're gonna ride, yeah, you're only gonna get 42 miles. In reality, you're probably gonna go way further than that because you're not gonna ride it how I just rode it. You know, as someone who rides usually 20 miles or less at a time, I just rode this thing twice as far as I would normally ride. I could have made it go a lot longer. I mean, if I would have pedaled some and helped it uphill some and just riding it casually, I think you crack into high 50s, low 60s on this. So there you go, there's, there's my thoughts. There's a range test on the 300 Max. Just one piece of data for you to use, decide you know, if you're interested in this bike. Again, super cheap. They, they lowered it to 15.99. There you go, hope you enjoyed. Check it out if you're interested. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. All right, we made it home safely. Didn't even have to pedal, really. 43.3 miles traveled. Not too bad. Not too bad.